Hey guys, about to play a game with the Blue Black Homicidal Seclusion deck in the Just for Fun area on Magic Online. And even though we have two Serum Visions, I think I want to mulligan this hand. Um, just because we can't even do it on turn one. So, All right, this is a little better. I mean, especially if we're up against an aggro deck, we're pretty happy with a hand like this one. And that makes it even better. So. That does mean we don't want to sacrifice Evolving Wilds right away. I may just actually play an Island so that we have that Mana Leak up next turn. Because I'd like to just draw the Mana Leak. Breeding Pool. All right. Wouldn't mind a Serum Visions in my hand. Right now, I think I'll go ahead and play the Swamp, leave up Mana Leak, and in my turn, we can play the Evolving Wilds this turn to get the second Swamp we'll need for Languish, although it's not looking like there's a really high chance we're up against an aggro deck. Um, well, maybe maybe we are. We're going to go ahead and Mana Leak that, um, so we don't have to deal with it. Right now, I'll play the Wilds. Um, I think I'll also play the Stalker, you know, just get it out there while I can. I mean, yeah, he knows I don't have counter magic up now. Um, I mean, and maybe I should have held it till after I languished, but, you know, we'll see. Damn, that Muta Vault's going to be a problem. Ah, that's cool. Descendant's Path plus Muta Vault. Pretty gross. Oh, I was distracted by that. We can at least kill the Muta Vault now. <laughs> so, I like that. Um, like in response to him making it into a dude, we can just kill it. So we're going to get in for one here. That'll feel pretty good if that's what he decides to do on his upkeep. All right. Kapow. He may have his own mana leak. No, he doesn't. So we get to blow up a land, and he doesn't get anything out of that. He drew a gemstone mine, though. Does that come into play untapped? No. What, you, what else you got? Another nest invader. Okay. I guess it's probably an Eldrazi deck of some kind. The tribal Eldrazi. Um, yeah, I guess I'll get a Swamp. Doesn't really matter so much now. All right, don't really want to draw a Dismal Backwater there, but that's what I do. I'll get in for one here. We really need to draw, like, a way to draw cards. Either our Anticipator Serum Vision or just draw our Homicidal Seclusion or our One Deadly Wanderings. And then, you know, basically his deck just can't outrace us if that happens. See how much he plays here. I mean, it may just end up being time to languish if he plays like the bird and... Oh, double Descendant's Path. That's pretty disgusting. Gets in for two, I'm guessing. No, that's interesting. Yeah, we're drawing all of our lands. Not really where we want to be. I'll swing for one. Play my hollow and in my turn. Okay, so let's see if he just gets a couple free creatures here. It gets put into play even, I think. Yeah, well, he can cast it without paying its mana cost. So Descendants Path number three. All right, so we got lucky there. Although a third one of those is also a pretty bad thing to have to deal with. Congregation at Dawn, that's that's pretty sweet. Let's see if he just puts like Emrakul cool on top of the library. He does, and we're just we're just dead. Yeah, he does. So we scoop and we sideboard. That's a cool looking Emra cool. Um I mean the deck's clearly like a combo deck that tries to make use of that enchantment more than it is anything else. Um so languish actually probably isn't that good i mean he'll play some little eldrazi's and get some scions and stuff like that but it's probably not worth having against this guy um same probably goes 
I mean, I can blow up creatures in response at least. I guess that's not bad because then he doesn't get his his thing, his, you know, little combo. Um, I mean, I'd probably just bring in a couple duresses to disrupt his plan a little bit. Yep, I think that's our plan to disrupt his plan. Okay, this one's pretty good. Play our first backwater. Go up to 21. Feels pretty bad playing these tap lands against a guy who has like a, you know, $500 mana base or whatever it is. <laughs> it's not exactly where you want to be. Okay, so he can't play his thing yet. Um, enchantment. So I think it's probably okay to tap out here and play... Uh, Serum Visions. Um, eh, eh, no thanks. <laughs> we just drew another land with it anyway. Um, and then play Dismal Backwater, a second one, and in the turn. Now we can just sort of leave up Mana Leak to counter like a potential turn three that card. I don't know. Descendant's Path, is that right? Blister Pod. Yeah, blowing that up in response doesn't really work. The joys of drawing a vendetta right there. Right. Well, I just leave mana up for um for mana leak. If he tries to play that card, we get to counter it. Right, we take with a one. Damn. Well, <laughs> Got plenty of ways of killing a blister pod, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and play my stalker. We can race. I'll be ahead. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's going to play some other stuff. That's worth vendetta-ing and stuff like that, though, at least. Okay, yeah, we're going to mana leak that. No, thank you. Don't really want to see that again. We will take one. All right, well, we have enough mana for our enchantments now that we want to draw. And I'll end the turn. Yeah, the double Muta Vault here is a little annoying. Um, I think I'll just use Vendetta on it. Although I have the mana to go for the throat, so I should probably just use that. So blow up a land. Take one. There we go. Question is, do we want to play it and tap out right now? I think we probably can afford to. I'm going to go for it here. I mean, that's what this deck's supposed to do. All right. Even though it's not Homicidal Seclusion, you know, it's our fifth copy of it. <laughs> our less good copy of it, but, you know, it gives us a little more redundancy in our deck. Does he have another copy of that freaking enchantment? Of course he does. Like, why wouldn't he, you know? The good news is we on our turn, we can use our kill spells to, uh, like, kill everything. I mean, not the Muta Vault, but we can even kill the, we can kill the Blister Pod and the token. Um, Yeah, well, we don't want to play that. Um, we're just going to swing. I think we just Vendetta both the Blister Pod and the Token, so we avoid any of the nonsense our opponent's going to try to pull off. So now we just go Vendetta. Then we have Murderous Cut Up to kill the Muta Vault, so it's not terrible. Um, 
and Vendetta. And we'll end our turn there. All right. And then we will use Murderous Cut on that. I wonder if he has Counter Magic to protect his combo at all. Serum Visions, okay. Well, <laughs> we bought ourselves a turn. I mean, if he has that card in his hand that lets him stack his deck, we're going to be in trouble. Right, we'll use our Serium Visions. Um, I guess I want Mana Leak. Maybe. I wish I'd drawn Mana Leak or Anticipate instead of them being on top. I mean, if he gets his combo, Mana Leak's not going to work. I mean, except it'll work on countering that spell, I guess. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess this the uh, Congregation at Dawn, it can counter that. So, in my turn, let's see if he congregates. Well, he didn't yet. Okay, good. So Mana Leak will potentially be able to stop our opponent from pulling off his combo. Potentially. There's our mana leak. Yeah, right now, I mean, it does stop it. He doesn't have enough lands to pay to play the card and and play the the spell. So I will attack. Go up to twenty six. I guess I can go ahead and play that now, and I'll end my turn. If he has two congregations, we're going to be a little interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if Emrakul is one of his top three cards, we're in trouble, but he can pay for Mana Leak anyway, so <clears throat> there's no good reason to counter it there. All right, let's see if he put an Emrakul on top of his library. He did not. All right, well, we got him on a two-turn clock, and actually, if we draw our other enchantment... Okay, well, now, unfortunately for us, he can pay for Mana Leak, um... So now we basically have to draw our other enchantment to win the game. <laughs> so maybe Anticipate would have been better, but I wanted to try to protect against this. Uh... Ah, wow. Well, let's see if that shit resolves. If it does. <laughs> we, we had a very lucky top deck. There we go. All right. We did it. Um, we could also just side in Negate. It's like, I'm not going to want to counter his creatures all that often. I'm going to want to counter his his ways of sort of putting things on top of his library and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's basically all we do. Yeah, I mean, this isn't... The the best matchup for us what we'd rather play against is like an aggressive deck because it's just impossible for them to race us um this is an interesting one because we have duresses to disrupt him and we have a serum visions to dig deeper into our deck but with just a dismal backwater i don't think we want to keep it this is better and that's even better um yes i'm drawing first so i'll draw that before i play my wilds We do have two of like our big, <laughs> big spells in our hand, but you know, Crux doesn't seem terrible against him. Although, you know, if he has a freaking blister pod, it's pretty bad. Between the blister pods and the muta vaults, our opponent has set up a pretty good way for his deck to be like resilient to removal and stuff like that. So, and there's a blister pod. We can counter the first one of that enchantment that he plays theoretically. Um, if he tries to play it on turn three again, he always seems to have multiple copies, though. So we'll sack our Evolving Wilds. We will get an Island. We'll play Drowned Catacombs, and I'm going to leave Mana up for Mana Leak. Uh, 
Okay. Birds of Paradise, sure. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and Serum Visions. Ooh, Duress, I like that. I also like Anticipate, but I feel like Duress, we can really disrupt him. Um, I mean, I can put Anticipate first and get Duress, but I'd like to be able to Duress next turn and still leave up Mana Leak if we still wanna leave it up. So I think I'll put Anticipate and then Duress. And then play a Swamp and in my turn. Yeah, I probably should have left Languish in and taken out Crux. I kind of forgot Crux is in this deck. All right, Nest Invader. Well, now he's getting to where he can freaking pay for a Mana Leak. He can do it now with just his creatures, which is not ideal for us. Um, so maybe I should have countered that. Um, if we get to Crux, though, I mean, it's not terrible right now. We kill several creatures. We are going to get to Duress this turn and see what's going on in that hand. Right, so I'll go ahead and use Duress. All right, I think we just want to hit Descendant's Path. I mean, the Congregation sets it up, but he needs a Descendant's Path to be in play for his combo to work at all. So now I might just be able to play Invisible Stalker, but if he draws another Descendant's Path, well, he can pay for it anyway, can't he? Um... I think I maybe just play my Stalker, although I can wait to Crux. So, yeah, maybe I go ahead and Crux first. Especially now that we took away his combo, hopefully. Which is a cool combo that I'd never really thought about before. Yeah, he's just going to go aggro on us. Mutavault and a Blister Pod token will survive, unfortunately, for us. If When we, when we Crux. Um, but yeah, we'll just take five here. I mean, we can gain the life back eventually. All right, he drew another bird. It's interesting he attacked with his bird. Oh, or did he? He may have tapped it for mana. Um, all right, I think now it is right to play the Stalker, because then if I can, well, maybe not. We'll see. It might get him to overcommit his hand. Uh, he also has Congregation at Dawn, which will help him rebuild, unfortunately. Although his white is only in his birds. So if he uses the birds in response, then it won't really matter. Ooh. Well, I mean, Crux will kill that and everything else. So I think, I think we just let that go. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played my Stalker, actually, but he may not have played his Spell Skite if I hadn't. He might have been thinking. All right. Um, then this is what I'm going to do. We'll make our lives a little better. Once we Crux. Of course, we have to hit a land with our Anticipate. That's not like a guaranteed... Uh, <laughs> that's not a guaranteed thing. One of the top four cards of our library, be a land. Okay. And we got one that doesn't come into play tapped, thank God. Let me put these on the bottom. And we drew another land anyway. Yeah, now I think we just go for the crux. I mean, I could wait a turn. He can descend its path right now because of his birds. So that's kind of annoying. But, I mean, we can we can follow it up by playing Neferox. Yeah, I think that seems pretty solid. Yeah, we'll just Crux and destroy all non-dragon creatures. So he'll congregate in response, or telling time, interestingly. I probably would have congregated because he can guarantee he's going to draw creatures. Although he's going to lose mana sources, I guess, and he'd be kind of in a tough spot. Um all right. See, I played that Stalker so it could block. That's, that was my plan all along. But yeah, we play Neferox, and then we play Deadly Wanderings, and we just try to win that way. I think that's the plan. All 
right, get in, gets in for two. Wow, yeah, we're gonna be pretty happy. So I think we tap out here. There's an off chance he has his combo. Um, but I think this puts us in a pretty good position going forward. Doesn't look like he has it. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to play... Wish we could leave Mana Leak up. Um, and maybe we should, just to be safe. Yeah, that's probably what's best, actually. I mean, we're swinging for six a turn, so we win the race. We don't need to play Homicidal Seclusion yet. We have two Mana Leaks, so we can counter his spells. And we're going to make him lose a creature right now anyway. So, although he can hit us for four a turn. That's worth remembering. So eventually we may, well, now it's not four. Eventually we may want to play the Seclusion just to gain life, but hopefully we can do it at a time when we can also leave up Mana Leak. So. All right, so we got a double Mana Leak, so that's going to work for us here. He has to sack his spawn anyway and lose a Gemstone Mine just to pay for the Mana Leak. So... <laughs> And he's going to, and then we're going to mana leak it again, which is pretty brutal. And it probably just gives us the game, and it does. All right, well, <laughs> we didn't even play our, you know, enchantments that game, but we still won by attacking with one creature and backing it up with counter magic. So there you go.